Yo mga kasubs and welcome to the Star Sports TV. You have me, Mark. And welcome to, uh, uh, what day is it? Happy Hump Day. Uh, this, by the way, is a, um, a concert that we have been uh, reacting to um, song per song. Uh, so it's over an hour, a little over an hour. And probably there's like maybe four or five songs uh, are remaining. And this is the uh, one of those uh, songs that we will be uh, reacting to. Um, <coughs> reason why I'm saying is because um, I need more um, Diana and Kodinova recommendations. Uh, so, but, uh, we don't want to run out, right? So please put in the comments uh, if you have any song or covers, performances by Diana that we you believe we haven't reacted to. I can always uh, double check. So, um, yep, uh, the title of the song, uh, shown on the, the closed caption, it's Winter Without Snow. And uh, this um, concert slash song is uh, or was recommended to us by our uh, friend, good friend, uh, David Gilman. So, David, thank you for this one. So, let's just adjust the quality of the video because uh, we do not want, you know, those unnecessary uh, interruptions, buffering, you know, those kinds of stuff when uh, the internet connection is not that um, not that good, I guess. So if you want to watch the um, concert in a better quality, uh, I will share this link in the uh, description. Uh, this uh, was at the uh, Meridian Cultural Center. And without any further, uh, just a quick thank you, by the way, uh, to our uh, viewers, subscribers, members, and sponsors. So, maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. And without any uh, further delays, let's uh, give this song a go in three, two, one. Такой печальный и легкий поцелуй прощальный. Снег 
это и сводит по ночам с ума. And that is the end of the song. Uh, so this, by the way, this guy right here is Helio. Say hi, Helio. <laughs> so he's still saying hi. Uh, so please, also, uh, he also has his own channel along with her uh, big sister, Posh. So please check out, uh, check the channel out. Um, Posh and Helio uh, is their channel. Uh, it's also in the description of this video. Yeah, in case you uh, want the uh, uh, easy access, just click on the link there. The uh, the song has that rock ballad feel at the beginning already, right? With those, with that uh, slow, um, distorted sound, a la just like those. What are those bands back then? Uh, Scorpion, Nazareth, uh, yeah. Uh, those those bands. Um, the uh, the chords that what's used, I would compare in terms of the sadness, you know, the, the sadness of the chords to the song uh, "What If God Was One of Us" by uh, Joan Osborne. Sometimes the the, the chords right can con it can already convey the uh, emotion of, of the song. It can it it actually also gives you like the an idea of of what the song or what the song will or what the lyric will, would sound like or uh, yeah, just circling back, what emotion it's trying to uh, convey. And by having that, uh, it makes it like picture a, a scene, either something fictional or something that you would, you know, like a, uh, a past memory uh, that will play as you listen to, to the song. I like the uh, presence of the bass here. Very simple, uh, very simple lines, but you know, very uh, solid. Uh, I would, if if I may. So when he when he ch changes from note to note, it it depends. If the note is close to each other, it's like just uh, uh, I I don't know what to call it, but let's say from C to D. So it's like two notes, right? So like dong, ding. So to to switch to that, he just adds a note in between, like some sort of a note that will bridge the two. So like something like dong, dong, dong. So it, it connects each other. So it's very simple, but I guess it's because of that fat tone as well that makes it like very uh, solid and present. It, when, when If the note is far from each other, so let's say for example, dong, dong. So let's say it's, it's, so that's far. What he does is he does a slide. So it's like something like dong, Dun, dun. So pre pre maybe uh, the, the reason why I'm describing it as present is because he doesn't leave any any gap like like any like, like some sort of uh, dead air for for bass, uh, which is why I feel that you know he's really like dominantly present in in the song in a good way. Uh, around one minute two seconds into the song. I. Uh, it's uh, I think it's the uh, uh, what do you call that? It's the uh, chorus after the second verse. Second chorus after the second verse because uh, I think she uh, Diana sang the song or sang the chorus uh, twice. So let's jump to uh, one minute, one minute, one minute, and 
one hour, two minutes into the song and see if you can catch that. Uh, listen to the sharpness of the, uh, the guitar. So he was using some kind of uh, distortion. And let me know, for those who play the guitar, let me know what distortion Чужая does come жизнь. into mind. Наши стало и воздуха вокруг так мало. Ты рядом, но. Ah, okay. I think it's a little beyond one minute, two, one or two minutes. So it's after this verse. So it sounds like he she sang the so, the chorus twice. So on the second chorus, listen to the uh, guitar. And for those who play guitar, let me know what effect, what what type of distortion, make and model comes to mind. <laughs> Hear that distortion sound so personally uh it reminds me of the uh, boss metal zone <laughs> a very iconic uh distortion pedal uh spe especially during uh, during the time when i was like yeah, uh, very young like maybe in high school you know the boss uh brand was very very mainstream but very expensive but very appealing uh it's because of those um knobs where where it allows you to change the the bass the uh the, the low the high and then the mid has uh is further uh expounded i, I guess so there's like it's it's four knobs one is for level second one is for low and then the third one is for the mid part mid range and then it's that knob has like two sub knobs one on top of the other so that that's the high mid low mid if i remember correctly and then there's the high so it allows you to have a a wide range of distorted sounds so it can be a very sharp like this one it can be uh, very murky and fat and and so on and so forth so it's a very uh, versatile uh, um, pedal and this tone reminds me of it and another reason why it reminds me of of, of that effect is because this tone uh, brings me is nostalgic for me yeah it's this one is pre, uh, very dominant that that this kind of guitar tone is very dominant during uh i think somewhere uh maybe uh uh mid mid to end uh high school yeah yeah mid to uh early 2000s yeah so most of the band that i i, I listen to probably it's because um there's this um tv show and even a radio show uh, radio program that features up and coming fresh bands and most of them has this kind of um uh tone you know during that uh, opm pinoy rock explosion so, so it's a it's it's a very nostalgic and you know <laughs> good vibes so going to uh, Diana singing, I, of course, um, I like the way uh, Diana expresses herself here. Uh, so with the with the, that sad tone that this song has, uh, she uh, further uh, I don't know what what uh, what um, what's the nice uh, adjective to describe it, but you know she exponentiates i think that's the closest i can think of she exponentiates that emotion so it, when the the tune is already sad she makes it melancholic uh, in a good way in a good way and it's interestingly enough that you know um the snow here is described as something that is actually you know uh, a good stuff like for example 
we enjoy winter because of the snow. You know, it's it's the snow that makes the winter good. Something like that. That's how uh, I um, from my perspective, the snow is described in this song, and not having snow makes it not good because it's just the bitter cold that's there. With with the snow, you have something to to play with, like build a snowman or have, you know, snow snowball fights and, and uh, what have not, and um and yeah, that's the way I I, I perceive the song and and that's that's what I like about um uh, Diana here, uh, and she also do, does it in a very uh, uh how do you say this when you're when you when you have when you're feeling bad but you're she 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 performs it or she expresses the emotion in a composed manner so it's like she's still able to uh, like keep herself together despite that uh extreme uh, feeling so uh, I leave it there. Uh, there you have it. That's my reaction. Let me know what you think. Leave it in the comments um, if you haven't done it yet. Um, these are the stuff you can do to show loving to our channel. Please do as many as you can. Don't forget to tell your family and friends about the Sarsicles TV. Sharing is caring. And most importantly, um, stay safe, everyone. I'll see you on the next video.